The Vision High School Sports Beat is brought to you by the 11 locally owned Vision Automotive Group dealerships, offering Buick GMC, Dodge Chrysler Jeep Ram, Hyundai, Kia, and Nissan, and the resale division. With locations in Webster, Henrietta, Penfield, Fairport, Canandaigua, Ontario, and Palmyra, and online at visionauto.com. Hello everyone and thanks for joining us. This is the Vision High School Sports Beat. I'm Bill Pucko. Every week at this time we take a comprehensive look at sports in Section 5 in Monroe County and we begin with our Honor Roll of High School teams brought to you by Salino and Barnes. The Honor Roll of High School teams is brought to you by Salino and Barnes. Salino and Barnes, injury attorneys, call 888 Don't wait, call or text 8. Here's our honor roll of high school teams at number three. Aquinas Baseball, Little Irish, won the A2 sectional crown and advanced past Canandaigua into the state regionals. They finish up at 13 and nine. At number two, section five, boys lacrosse. All three champions advanced past Buffalo into the state semifinals. Victor in class A, Webster Thomas in B, Penyan in class C. And at number one, section five, girls lacrosse. All three champions, Pittsford in A, Victor in B, and HFL in Class C advance past Buffalo area teams and into the state Final Four. Section 5 girls are 55-1 and one against Section 6 in tournament play. Which brings us to our Coriglio's Pizza Team of the Week. The Coriglio's Pizza Team of the Week is brought to you by our friends at Coriglio's Pizza with five convenient locations throughout Rochester. Coriglio's Pizza, a proud supporter of high school athletics. This week, we're looking at some of our favorite stories from the spring sports season, which in two instances here, overlap the winter. Here's Kim Burnson with Unified Basketball. Judging from the cheering in the stands, you'd think it was a homecoming rivalry game. Two high school teams coming together to battle it out on the court. While it's a game that surely doesn't lack any competitiveness, the Unified program is unique in its ability to teach more than just the game of basketball. Uh, yeah, it was an initiative from the New York State Public High School Athletic Association, and one other section in the state, Section 3, did it a year before us. Uh, we were the second section to jump on board, and we actually had the option, year one, to uh, take part or not, and we chose to jump right in. Unified Basketball allows both male and female high school students to team up with athletes with disabilities who wouldn't otherwise have the chance to compete on the big stage. An opportunity head coach Greg Kincaid sees great value in. I'm really an advocate of special ed. I'm an advocate of kids being involved in extracurricular activities. And this really was very exciting and very motivating to me. I've been coaching basketball in the district for probably about 20 years now. And when this opportunity came up, I felt like I was a good match for this. And there's no looking back at this point. I, I really look forward to the future and I hope that I continue to do this. Without the students at Churchville, this program wouldn't have had this type of success in its second year. Partners and athletes have only grown in numbers. Well, it's, it's very contagious with the students. Um, I have kids after home games coming out of the stands who I don't even know, and I've been here 25 years, students I don't even know saying, how can I get involved next year? I want to be on the unified basketball. And I think they see the unity that we have and how much the kids care for each other and just how much fun that they're having by playing basketball. And basketball is just the activity. It's the friendships these kids are developing, the relationships they're developing that are going to probably last a lifetime. Last year we were on the track team and we went to one of the unified games and we just saw how much fun it was and we decided that we wanted to get involved. Yeah, a lot of my friends were involved with it last year so they like said it was a lot of fun and I knew it was something I wanted to do this year. And what made you start doing the program? My friends got me into it. They started asking about it. I started used to it and I wanted to do it because I know I didn't do it at home so I decided like to have some sports so I wanted to learn how to do basketball. 
Even siblings in the program have felt the impact of playing side by side as teammates. How has it helped your relationship? Have you gotten closer through the program? Yeah, when we're here, he like, I don't know, it's just like a thing that we can share, whereas like at home, it's like completely different. So here we can like be a brother and sister to each other. Do you take anything that you learned here home with you? Yeah, I mean, I try, like we, like it just makes us talk about things at home and like work together, so. I've grown up closely with one of the athletes, and so I think that's really helped us like connect with them this year and it's just been really fun getting to know everyone and they've been really nice. It's hard to say who learns more from the Unified Basketball program but it's clear it has its benefits and it's also a program that's expanded greatly year to year in Section 5. I think last year we had 14 schools in Section 5. I believe we're up to 22 this year and I did have several other ADs and coaches call me uh, ask about how our experience was and it helped them jump in this year. Webster Thomas is a first-year program under head coach Colleen Quinn. She hopes to see her team expand like others in Section 5. The first few weeks were a little difficult getting people because nobody had heard about it yet and all the other coaches said that in the first year it's the hardest to get kids. But then once word spread and people started to come in and they'd get their friends and more people joined. But we have about 15 right now. It's been great so far. Each game we've been doing a little bit better. The kids love it, the parents love it, and it's been a positive experience. Due to Unified Basketball's success, there may be more options for growth in the future, even talk of expanding to other sports. We're, we're just in the beginning. I think we're going to grow quickly because the interest is so high, just with the athletes, with the partners, and the community in general. I'm Kim Burnson with the Vision High School Sports Beat. When we return, how our best skiers perform in the spring. And Kim returns with our Wegmans Making the Great segment, when the Vision High School Sports Beat continues. Thanks for joining us, and welcome back. This is the Vision High School Sports Beat, and I'm Bill Pucko. Time now for our honor roll of high school athletes, presented by Injury Free Coalition for Kids. Driving's a lot like the game of baseball. It's the one who gets home safely that counts. Please remember to always wear your seatbelt and to focus only on driving when behind the wheel of a car. This message courtesy of the Allstate Foundation and Injury-Free Coalition for Kids Smart Teen Driving Program. Here's our honor roll of high school athletes. Number three, Matt Gamble, perhaps the finest tennis player this section has ever produced. Lost a three-set tiebreaker to Yuval Solomon in a bid for a third straight state championship. The five-time super sexual champ is off to Notre Dame. Number two, Lene David Thomas of Rush Henrietta. Lene reset the Section 5 record in the 200 at the state qualifiers, a meet which traditionally does not produce record times. He'll break it again at states. And at number one, Nick Lawler, Webster Schrader Baseball, who pitched the Warriors into the state Final Four. Nick had a complete game, 3-1 win of a Lancaster in the regionals and drove in a run for good measure. And now the Parisi Speed School presents our Athlete of the Week. Parisi Speed School wants you to be prepared for your next season. Visit ParisiRochester.com or call 585-381-3278 for a free evaluation. Parisi Rochester, train to win. This week we're looking back at some of our favorite stories from the spring sports season. A couple of ski champions play lacrosse. They have a lot more in common than that. There are two sport anomaly, squared. There are no athletes in the section like Joe Vasile, except his sister, Gigi. How did lacrosse work its way into the picture in your life? Well, my dad actually played all throughout high school and into college where he played at Yale for two years. And so my brothers and I started at a very young age, probably first grade, second grade, and we just all stuck with it. That a brother and sister both play high school lacrosse is far from unusual. Lacrosse, as much as any sport, runs in the family. What separates Joe and Gigi Vasile at Webster Thomas is that both ski. And they don't just ski. They are Section 5 downhill ski champions. Both of them. It was definitely great. I've been, uh, I've been training really hard for that. Um, this was my first year winning last year. I got second overall, but um, this year I came into the season a lot more healthy. The year prior I had mono, and the year before that I had a broken ankle coming into the season. So this one year being healthy, I think really helped me uh, stay in it mentally and physically. 
I'm so proud of my brother and his accomplishments. So it was a lot of fun uh, winning it with him, especially since it's his last year. Gigi Vasile is a three-time Section 5 and two-time state Alpine ski champion. Joe won sectionals for the first time this year. When you're in the gate, it's kind of, it, it's the best feeling in the world because it's just so quiet and everything's just quiet in your mind and then you go and it's just all action and you're in the zone and you're just flying gate to gate and sometimes we hit up to 60 miles an hour and just rolling your skis over and just trusting it and falling down straight down the hill is just, it's an unreal, it's, it's great. When March rolls around, both of the Vasils rechannel their athletic talents to the lacrosse fields. She's going to play lacrosse in college, and the, the reason for that, she told me, is because she'd rather be with a, a big team dynamic than more of an individual sport. Um, you know, she's just a great kid. She works hard. Her teammates have a lot of respect for her. Um, other coaches know who she is, too, which means, you know, a great deal. He plays the game like a skier would in terms of he attacks, he attacks the field, he attacks the plays on the field, and the way he probably attacks them out. And we use it a lot. We'll say to him, you know, I'll say to him, hey, you know, how do you prepare and scheme? Like, visualize this play happening. You got to visualize the same kind of things in lacrosse. It's very similar. There's, you got to rehearse what your your course is. You got to rehearse our, you know, our scout team looks and our our preparation before the game. It's similar how you look at a mountain, how you then look at the game. You know? Joe will play lacrosse at MIT next year and do a little club skiing. Gigi has a year left to try to win a fourth sectional and recapture that state ski crown. But both are better off for being both. With lacrosse, I learn how to um, be a part of a team, be a part of that group and working together with other people while on the slopes it's independent and during races, you know, you're on that course by yourself and you really just have to trust your abilities. Joe added another item to his trophy case when the Titans won the sectional championship in boys lacrosse. Kim has our Wegmans making the grade nominee next and later our Dunkin' Donuts salute to the season when the Vision High School sports beat continues. The Urban Eclectic Alternative, 100.9 FM, WXIR. Extreme Independent Radio, Rochester, New York. Welcome back and thanks for watching the Vision High School Sports Beat. I'm Kim Burnson. It's time now for Making the Grade, brought to you by Wegmans. Wegmans is a proud supporter of Making the Grade, which highlights the accomplishments of Section 5 student athletes on and off the playing field. We now take a look back at our Making the Grade honorees of the spring season. We met McQuaid pitcher Jerry DeMarco, who connects with Rochester youth through a local basketball program in his free time. Lacrosse star Jamie Trimboli of Victor High School has captained a successful team and plans to head to Syracuse to play lacrosse and study medicine. When she's not in softball season, Emily Yeager of Spencerport is busy with her volunteer work. She works at Strong Hospital assisting EMT specialists with incoming and outgoing patients. We also featured Hilton's David Sturpey, a sophomore with a bright future in baseball and soccer. He's become a leader in the hallways through the Model UN Club. Future Binghamton nursing student Michaela McPherson played two sports for the Royal Comets and was admitted into the Henrietta Youth Hall of Fame this year. Penfield's Cole Guest represented Western New York at the Bryan National Lacrosse Clinic and is an excellent student with a workload of multiple AP classes. Thank you to all of our spring athletes for earning your spot on Making the Grade. If you have a student in mind for our Making the Grade segment, we want your nominations. You can send them in to info at classywolf.com. Now here's Bill with our Sylvan Learning Section 5 calendar. Our Section 5 calendar is brought to you by Sylvan Learning, delivering results in reading, math, writing, study skills, SAT and ACT prep, and more. Four area locations, call 385-9480. We would like to thank Sylvan Learning for sponsoring the Section 5 calendar. With the sports season over, we are looking ahead to the fall. The next date of significance is August 14th. That's when the fall sports teams report for the 2016-17 season for the first time. We'll have an impressive five teams defending state championships in the fall. The Pittsburgh girls swim team, the Pittsburgh men and boys cross country team, the boys volleyball teams from McQuaid and Brighton are defending state champions, and of course Aquinas, which will defend its football title in the fall. We'll be there for season six of the Vision High School Sports Beat. That's our Sylvan Learning Section 5 calendar with a look ahead to the fall. Our Dunkin' Donuts salute to the spring season is next when the Vision High School Sports Beat continues.
Sign Impressions is more than just signs. It's a total graphics company. Embroidery, screen printing, team apparel, t-shirts, jackets, hats, and of course, banners and signs. Visit signimpressions.com, call us at 723-0420 to order your team or corporate apparel. Welcome back to this special edition of the Vision High School Sports Beat. I'm Bill Pucko. It's time now for our all sports salute to the season, which is brought to you by Dunkin' Donuts. Double down on your candy and coffee cravings with Dunkin's new Heath and Almond Joy candy bar flavored iced coffees. America runs on Dunkin'. Next week, we wrap up the year. Name our athletes and teams of the year. This is some of the best we saw this spring. It is our Dunkin' Donuts salute to the season. Everything inside As my body breaks the time